Adidas out with earnings today. Sort of disappointed the street. Europe was flat. China and the U.S. were both growth drivers, as was digital, reaffirming its outlook. Though part of the story is the stock's been on a massive run. It's up more than 40 percent so far this year. I sat down with the CEO of Adidas, Casper Rorsted, asked him today about the impact from U.S. tariffs. The biggest worry we have are not tariffs. It is a trade war, a currency war between America and China. We do 25 percent of our business in China, so of course the devaluation of the Chinese currency would have a significant impact for us. It's been more or less stable for the last three months, but that is one where we believe that nobody can win. There's a lot of, not a lot of mitigation we can do. Uh, so we hope that uh, a certain amount of normality will come in and the Chinese RMB will remain stable also for the months and the, you know, the quarters to come. Are you supportive of U.S. efforts to step in, call China out, a currency manipulator, stop the yuan from weakening as a company that does lose competitiveness when that happens? You know, we don't, we don't comment on policy, but we, we don't think that really having a trade war, a, you know, a, a customs war or a currency war is good for anybody. So I would say differently. You know, there's going to be no winners if this were to continue, neither in China or the U.S., or for that sake in Europe. So I think that you know, the quicker that everybody understands that this is going to pull everybody down, the better it is. I haven't heard anybody say that this is a good thing that's happening right now. I wanted to switch and talk, to, talk about Europe for a moment, your home market, sluggish. I mean, is, that, is it an economic environment? How, how sharply has consumer spending there slowed? So the consumer spending has been flattish in Europe in the last two to three years, and there's no doubt that the Brexit it's very, very bad for the European economy. I've said that many times when you and I have spoken. And right now, you're also seeing a further devaluation of the pretty pound you know, towards the euro. So we are not seeing a you know, great pickup of the European economy, and we don't expect that either. What we are seeing is following a difficult for year, year for us. Last year, we were returning back to growth in Europe as a brand and will continue to grow. You know, we'll start to grow again by the end of this year and grow next year. But I don't have a lot of confidence in the European economy to pick up with the current climate that we have in Europe. And finally, is Kanye still the most valuable celebrity that you have putting out shoes? He's probably the one with the greatest reach, I would say. We've been extremely happy with the relationship we've had with Kanye in the last four to five years. Continues to evolve well. And we have a very, very you know, exciting set of products coming out also this year and next year. So we continue to expand our business with great products from the consumer. I ask that because he's added a number of celebrities recently. Beyonce is coming out later this year. Pharrell Williams is going to celebrate the 70th anniversary in Germany. Kylie Jenner has a new pair of Adidas sneakers. But guys, what was most interesting was the fear over the currency war, mm -hmm. not as much over the tariffs. And I asked, are Americans going to pay more for Adidas apparel and sneakers as a result of the new tariffs that President Trump just announced, the 10%? He said no. Because none of what is sold here in America is produced in China. He said it's produced in Vietnam, Bangladesh, Cambodia, other places. That's on the Adidas side. Obviously, the industry has bigger problems because there are still plenty well, of shoes and apparel made there. I was interested in to hear what he said about Brexit. The opening statement as if it's broadly Brexit hurts their sales. But he moved that to say, yeah, Brexit's not good because the fall in the pound means our sales there are suffering. And Adidas shoes, they're obviously becoming slightly more expensive in the UK in a, in a relative sense, which I, which I did think was an interesting, different take that we don't always hear on yeah. that front. Also, I mean, he's been highly critical of Brexit mm -hmm. throughout and just the pressure that's putting on the European economy. He doesn't have confidence that the European economy is going to pick up anytime soon.